Hi, I'm Dr. Fareha Malik. Today I want to talk about an important topic that I get questions on multiple times a day in my clinic. That is, the effects of marijuana on adolescents. Many teenagers try marijuana and some use it regularly. Teenage marijuana use is at its highest level in 30 years and today's teens are more likely to use marijuana than tobacco. Many states allow recreational use of marijuana in adults aged ages 21 and over, recreational marijuana used by children and teenagers is not legal anywhere in the United States. Today's marijuana plants are grown differently than in the past and contains two to three times more THC, the ingredient that makes people high. The ingredient of the marijuana plant thought to have the most medical benefit, CBD, has not increased and remains at about 1%. Parents can help their children learn about the harmful effects of marijuana use. Talking to your children about marijuana at an early age can help them make better choices and may prevent them from developing a problem with marijuana use later. Begin with talking with your child in an honest and open way when they are in late elementary and early middle school. Ask them they, what have they heard about using marijuana. Listen carefully, pay attention, and try not to in interrupt them. Avoid making negative or angry comments. Offer your child facts about the risks and consequences of using marijuana. Explain that. Research tells us that the brain continues to mature into the 20s. While it is developing, there is a greater risk of harm from marijuana use. Many teenagers believe that marijuana is safer than alcohol or other drugs because it is natural. When talking about marijuana with your child, it is helpful to know the myths and the facts. Research shows that short-term use of marijuana can lead to school difficulties, problem with memory and concentration, increased aggression, car accidents, use of other drugs or alcohol, risky sexual behavior, worsening of underlying mental health conditions, including mood changes and suicidal thinking, increased risk of psychosis and interference with prescribed medication. Long-term use of marijuana can lead to cannabis use disorder, the same breathing problems as smoking, cigarettes, uh, a motivational syndrome, that means decreased motivation or interest, which can lead to decline in academic or occupational performance, lower intelligence, mental health problems, such as schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, irritability, impulsiveness, and even risk of suicide. There is very little research supporting use of medical marijuana in children or teens for most conditions. In most states that allow medical marijuana, the marijuana is not regulated and therefore is not checked by for ingredients, purity, strength, or safety. There is no evidence that medical marijuana is any safer than any other marijuana. There is ongoing research on the use of CBD containing products for conditions such as epilepsy, PTSD, Tourette's disorder, pain, and other diagnoses. For now, the use of CBD is only FDA approved in children for specific forms of epilepsy. At this time, there is not enough evidence to recommend CBD for other uses in children and adolescents, including the treatment of autism and other developmental disorders. Thank you for watching and please follow us on social media for daily updates.